You guessed it, Mardius. A vast arid region extends across North Befall. Here on the steppes of Galesa lived a people called the Turalians. This was the granddaughter of the Turalian leader, Nizam. Her name was Aisha. She was an adventurous girl who loved to roam the plains on horseback. One morning, she set out to enjoy a ride on her favorite mount. Don't go wandering off too far. Good, you're awake. Mana Uto Hote Lae. Aisha. Mue. I'm a Kayaketh. Kayaketh Levita. <laughs> oh, you know who I am. Can you understand me? Ito. I mean, yes. I am Carl August Neidhart, Prince of Rosalia. But I suppose I'm better known to you as a Kayakith. I'm on my way back to Crystal Palace. Which way are you headed? Welcome back, Your Highness. I want you to help this young lady get cleaned up. I'll see you later. Right this way. A warm bath will clean you right up. What? You mean in hot water? But I'll burn myself! No need to worry. The water is just right. Go ahead. Step right in. Hey, no peeking. How do you like it? 
Feels funny. I still like it better cold. Don't you look refreshed? Now then, let me show you around. This is the bedroom of my father, the King of Rosalia. Nothing too fancy, though. Father was seriously ill and is convalescing here. Father, I have returned. Oh, Nightheart. And I see you have brought a guest. If I'm not mistaken, this girl is a Turalian. I am Aisha, your highness. Aisha, hmm? I recall that when King Klaus II was still prince, he once helped the Turalians defeat the Ungers. The Turalian leader at that time was named Aisha. Klaus and Aisha fell in love. But the Turalians did not permit marriage with outsiders. Sadly, they were forced to go their separate ways. Oh, I didn't know that. The older one gets, the more useless details fill the mind. Well then, Father, we'll leave you to rest now. Please, rest assured that I have the Kingdom's affairs in order. I'm counting on you, Nightheart. Come visit again, my dear. Wow, the King sure is nice, isn't he? Unfortunately, he has grown a bit weaker recently. By the way, do you know Elder Nizon? Sure I do, he's my grandfather. What? Nizam is your grandfather? <laughs> I suppose you do know him then. I heard he had a grandchild, but I thought it was a boy. I guess that's what happens when you make assumptions. <laughs> Take me to Nizam, if you would. It would be my pleasure. Then I'll see you to your village. Waso Nighthawk, Shimitage Eke Rosalia. Uwatanahena Moteku Niza. Grandpa! Kaya Kathlebita, so good of you to come. Welcome! My sincere thanks for aiding my granddaughter. So, Nizam, you would call your grandchild's rescuer a devil? What do you mean? Is it not you who desires to be known as such? Well then, I shall go on my devilish way. But know that you would do well to be under our protection. We are simple nomads. People like us are of no consequence to Rosalia. That may be so. But we will not tolerate the presence of those who challenge the authority of Rosalia in this region. Even if you are simple nomads. Thieves, monsters, slave traders and the like also inhabit the steppes. They too will be brought under control. And if we refuse? You shall witness actions befitting the name of Kayakit Labita. Ah, I see. Then we humbly ask for your protection. You have made a very wise decision. And one more thing, Nizam. I would like to take care of your granddaughter. She will receive the finest education at Crystal Palace. No! I cannot allow it. If you are determined, then I... No, that's fine. I shall take my leave. Thank you for your warm reception. Until we meet again. And one more thing, Nizam. 
I would like to take care of your granddaughter. She will receive the finest education at Crystal Palace. No, I cannot allow it. If you are determined, then I... No, that's fine. I shall take my leave. Don't go wandering off too far. Oh, who am I kidding? This camp is too small for you, isn't it? Here, take this map. Head for the oasis of Uso. Today's shipment looks promising. Our client will be pleased. Okay, take them away. sold me into slavery to pay off my mother's debt. Who are you? My name is Aisha. I'm waiting for Jamil to come and get me. I know he'll show up sooner or later. Oh, is Jamil your boyfriend? What? Uh, well, no! It, it's not like that! So they brought in another fresh catch. get in to rescue you. <laughs> I knew you'd come. Thanks. <laughs> no prob. Now let's all butt. Hey, you in or what? Who the... Get the intruder! So they got you too? I'm Aisha of the Turalians. Nice to meet you. Oh, a Turalian, huh? Okay, let's get going. Thanks. I was feeling kind of lonely. My name's Barbara. Good to meet you. You're a Turalian, aren't you? What are you doing way out here? You see... And that about sums it up. Well, it looks like you've been through a lot. Of course I'll help you out. It's too quiet.
This is where I'm from. What a dull village. Aisha, calm down. I'm sorry, but everyone's gone. Where could they be? Well, there's no sign they were attacked. It's as if they just left moments ago. I'm sure they're fine. It'll be all right. I'm here to help. Thanks. I appreciate it. Make haste. As I soared the skies, high above the Cochlean Desert, through the clouds, I saw many Tyrolians making their way north. Soon, all of them were swallowed up by the swirling sands. Every man, woman, and child. Yet, I heard no scream or sound of struggle. To me, it seemed as if they had drowned themselves willingly. I will never forget that strange and unsettling sight. Wait! You're a Turalian! What are you doing here? How dare you break the tradition? What are you talking about? Who are you? Oh, you must be the grandchild of Nizam. I heard you disappeared recently. You know my grandfather? I am Jeff Timoth, elder of the Terranites. Your people and mine are of the same blood. You should head to Murholm. Nizam will tell you more. Oh, is that where my grandpa is? Thanks so much, Jeff Timoth. Aisha! Aisha! I knew you'd find us sooner or later. You are a Turalian after all. So, how come you're all hiding down here? We received a message from Nisa, the Great Mother. She told us that a war was brewing among the gods. She warned us to seek shelter from the fighting here, inside her very body. Long ago, our ancestors enjoyed a peaceful and harmonious life. But then, the gods waged war upon each other. The heavens crumbled and the earth burst open. Few survived those days. Several of our forefathers were guided here by Nisa and lived through the ordeal. Once the fighting stopped, the gods forsook the world they had ravaged. Only Nisa and Alor, the great mother and father, remained. Together, they gave back life to our world. Creating new gods, new lands, and a host of other new creatures. Ages passed, and our ancestors looked again upon the world outside. There, they saw a different land filled with new hills, rivers, grasslands, and wildlife. Even the folk who dwelt there were strangers to them. Some lost hope and returned to their dwellings below, but others set out to live 
under the sun again. They call themselves the Turalians. So, we're different from everyone else? Aisha, you must stay here with us, at least until the war comes to an end. Grandpa! Aisha! <laughs> I knew you'd find us sooner or later. You are a Turalian after all. So, how come you're all hiding down here? So, we're different from everyone else? Aisha, you must stay here with us, at least until the war comes to an end. I can't, Grandpa. I've got friends depending on me now. I don't know you, but uh, thank you for watching over Aisha. Great Mother Nisa, please tell me what to do. My child. The return of Samarine is at hand. If it comes to pass, the world will meet its doom. Take you the Fate Stone and stop Samarine in the name of all that live. If you cannot do this, find one who can and entrust the Fate Stone to him. That is your purpose. She bids you to do. What arrogance you have! Though he be wicked, he is still a god. How could a mortal ever hope to slay him? You forget your limits! O oh, great warrior of Nisa, I return to you the sword of the earth. I pray to Great Mother Nisa that you carry out your duty. I pray to Great Mother Nisa that you carry out your duty. Oh, warrior of Nisa. Oh, warrior of Nisa.
Maybe this is where that forest god lives. Cyril! Lord of the Great Outdoors! If you can hear me, please give me a sign! What do you seek, child of Nisa? I stand here before you. Child of Nisa, a great trial awaits inside Twin Moon Temple. Knowing this, do you still choose to go? Well, of course. Why wouldn't I? <sighs> then take you this, my medallion. Remember, the gods watch over you always. Thank you very much. I shall bury you and prove that my loss was nothing more than Alor's vile trickery. I shall rid myself of this stain and be restored to my former glory! Are you really a god? It doesn't seem very godlike to me to be holding grudges. And why do you have to destroy everything? We've all worked hard for what we have. You dare to lecture me? You who are no more than the puppet of a lord dancing on the end of a string? This has nothing to do with the lore. For the sake of every living thing in this world, yeah, and even the stuff that's not alive, I'm gonna whip your butt! You think you can defeat a god? <laughs> you amuse me. Well, all right. I'll humor you, and myself, just this once. Nisa, we give thanks for your protection against calamity. Great Mother, please grant eternal rest to those brave souls who perished. To Anioto Nisa, To Anioto Elor, To Anioto Nisa, To Anioto Elor. To Anioto Nisa, To Anioto Elor. If only I'd brought her up to be more ladylike. But 
Why did this have to happen to her? She's only a child. Oh, Nisa, Alor, do not take my grandchild from me. Take my life instead. I will do anything you ask of me. Just give her back to me, I beg you. Oh, merciful Nisa. Oh, gracious Alor. Can it be so? Oh, thank you for returning her safely to me. Others. 